Isn't it nice to see the God of Thunder? It is. <laughs> I mean, that's how I think of you is as the God of Thunder, but to, to see him. This was him before, as it were, he became Chris Hemsworth. And, you know, you have these moments, don't you? We all have them. I remember way back when we worked together, your smashing book came out. And you, 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 when you got the first copy, you were so excited. When Chris Hemsworth and I each saw this poster like nearly 10 years ago, we were like kids on Christmas morning. And as they say, little, little did anybody know he was about to become Lord Hemsworth of Showbiz Shire. And, uh, and, you know, that this would be the first of three or four pictures for him, an entire Marvel universe. And, uh, you know, you can get quickly blasé, but I just remember a pile of red posters arrived and it made us feel like we're doing it. It's happening. The film's coming out. It's funny to think that someone like him or someone like you getting a thrill from something like that. Oh, no, definitely. I think the uh, you can't lose that. And I think what was actually quite fun and, and, and interesting about working for the Marvel people at that time was that they, they had that same kind, I think, in fact, they've continued that same kind of um, childlike excitement about, uh, you know, sort of being let loose in the candy store. You know, we know, everybody knows it's such a blooming miracle to get any of these things off the ground. You yeah, know? yeah. I still... I was sitting doing it last night with my missus. I look at pictures, I look at TV shows, and even though I'm right in the middle of doing them, I find myself going always, how do they do that? Yeah. Oh, that's so, that's yeah. so impressive. Oh, and what he did then. Oh, look at that shot. And it's just so it's good. I think it's not even you try and do or even need to tell yourself to retain it. You just have. It's sort of inbuilt, the, the sort of sense of wonder. I, guess. I, th I think some people keep it more than others. And I think it's, it's a double-edged sword, that thing of when you're watching. Because when I've been filming something, I will watch any scene. It could be the Irishman, you know, De Niro and Pacino doing a scene. And let's say it's an indoor scene, nighttime. And in my head, I just see the script, interior, nighttime. They are set, right. And I can picture a props person just out of shot. And, and, I, and I can imagine that somebody's just checked. So in that sense, it can sort of spoil it a little because you're always aware. But the other side of it is marveling at the choices that actors are making. Yeah. Playing the line back in your head and thinking, oh, God, I'm not sure I'd have done it like that. That's very good. I sometimes have that experience of when you feel like it, you're a bit of a a technician and it just suppose depends on your mood sometimes you can be a bit more or less cynical or a little bit you know sort of dewy eyed i remember one one other moment like the, in the wonder department uh, i might have told you before but it was it was doing a, a photo a photo shoot in los angeles uh, at the old culver city studios and it was in a prop store and uh, i had to get changed from one sort of you know suit of clothes into another they put me in an office and I'm sitting down like I'm in a little office at Twickenham Studios right now which is why uh, young Chris is here so they sat me down in an office and I literally uh, as I was doing my shoes up I looked there and there was a roneoed page stuck on the side of the wall and I looked at the top of it it said call sheet Wizard of Oz and it was for it was for you know March 10th 1939 you know Miss yeah. Garland own transport to arrive <laughs> to arrive at Paramount Studios. Munchkins, please enter by the Gower Street entrance. Uh, and I was just thinking, oh my god! And it, I don't know how they did roneoed off in some way, you know, because there must have been hundreds and hundreds of people. How you let us, you know, people yeah. who may or may not be in our business know, you know, we we have this directive, the call sheet that tells us what's happening next day, where we got to be, etc. So to see one for the Wizard of Oz. To, to sort of make that connection like you were doing between you see all that technicolor you know film legendary stuff but at some point somebody had to go hello judy <laughs> yeah judy we will we're gonna pick you it's yeah, yeah it's bert tomorrow bert's gonna pick oh you're gonna drive yourself fine all right yeah. okay yeah see, it's somewhere over the rainbow tomorrow good luck with that one